test, test. Test, test. It's working. All right. More plot. Let's go. More plot. Samurai's turn. It's the warrior. Changes too, hang on. Sometimes it's the warrior. Sometimes it's the other ones, maybe. There he is. It changes. How are you doing tonight, Claudio? Yeah. Only the warrior, the black mage, and the white mage. I mean, red mage is pretty iconic, but I think those three are still probably the most iconic. testing out other stuff that looked good with the hat. <laughs> yeah, the Final Fantasy 1 jobs. The We're specifically talking about this minion that has those three. He goes, What's, why, why not uh, the Red Mage? Why isn't the Red Mage in there? And I said, well, maybe I, I think the other three are more iconic than any of the other ones. 
Like, Red Mage is probably the next most iconic one, but I think those are the three that you think of the most. And plus, those are specifically FF1, too, so... Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah, like I said, I only have like 10 left. Oh, there's a dungeon here? Oh, okay. Uh, that means I don't know what I want to do then. I guess that means I'll level up the ninja in the dungeon, I think. Since Samurai is so close, I don't want one to get like too far ahead of any of the other ones. Oh, I've always liked ninja and samurai. That's why I picked them here. Those are probably the the two that I would say are my favorite, Ninja and Samurai. If I had to pick one, it's probably Ninja. Final Fantasy 1? No, I didn't. I went pretty standard with my Final Fantasy 1 playthrough. Warrior, White Mage, Black Mage, and uh, the Monk. whenever I did my first playthrough. Yeah. Because I would have had no idea they changed jobs the first time. And, uh, Thieves. You know how I feel about Thief. In general. The only reason I did it in this game was because I knew it turned into Ninja.
It depends on the game. It really does. Sometimes stealing is just so terrible. It never works. You never know when to do it. Whenever you do try to do it, you have to spend 80 turns on it to get a potion. Like in 7, 8, and 9, I'll do it a lot, but in almost any of the other games, it's almost never a thought to me because it's just so bad and never works. Just like status effects. And count the number of times on one hand that I used a status effect in Final Fantasy 1 and it actually did something to anything. Almost there, friends. Your point of entry is just around the bend up ahead. The last patrol should be here any minute. Once you dealt with them, we'll be clear to advance, assuming they keep their, to their usual schedule. Might be prudent to stand watch for a moment after, just in case. Well, I see the dungeon logo right there. And you know what? That one works out great. <laughs> it is pretty broken in Final Fantasy 1. You're not wrong about that. I didn't say anything about buffs. Debuffs were what I never used. Yeah, I don't remember that one. By Ralgar, I knew you were good, but I never expected you to defeat them so swiftly. Oldest is the finest warrior I know. And I should like to think that we have learned something from our time in his company. Now, where is the entrance to the ducks? Right behind you. I've mapped the branches, so you should have no trouble reaching the hangars or any number of other places. Oh, that's cool. Understood. Thank you again for your invaluable assistance. As discussed, Oldus, we shall divide into two groups and proceed via the separate routes into the castrum. Remember that our objective is to cause as much chaos as possible to draw the Imperials away from Lise and her men. If there's nothing else, I'll return, you, I'll return to the resistance forces and show them to their entrance. May Ralgar guide you to victory. This is your last chance to make preparations, Oldus. When you and yours are ready, we shall begin. Must be getting windy outside. If I suddenly cut off, it's because the power went out. The light just flickered a little bit in here. Just so you guys are aware. I'm gonna swap to ninja. Oh, I put on new stuff for ninja. I forgot to sh I forgot I forgot. Stuff that I got in one of the raids cuz I thought it looked dope. Have a look at the knives, too. Hell yeah.
Schwink. <laughs> Those are sick as hell. I love it. Cloudy already? Did he swap from uh, tank? Oh, yes, he did. All right. Here, I'll show him real quick, though. Got some new stuff from uh, one of the raids for the ninja. And I splurged a little bit on these knives on the market board. Which are just sick as hell. Anyway. They weren't that expensive, actually. Then the derpy lizard dude. Sixty nine. <laughs> you want to know something really funny? Uh, I saved the uh, owl raw design. You know, whenever I make, whenever I, uh, whenever I made the character, I saved the. Uh, I saved the designs, uh, just in case you ever want to change it back and forth or whatever. So I, I always save the the appearance data, uh, and I decided that uh, I was going to hire a second uh, a second um, retainer. So I made I made him my second retainer. <laughs> I named it Old Me.
So far, so good. Why are we fighting a motorcycle monster? Does he? I don't remember him at all. Mm. Nice.
smaller red one. Hang on a second, I'm getting a phone call. further. Oh god, there's other shit coming. I'll be right with you boys in a minute. Gotta run something upstairs to my wife. I'm coming. Yeah, I recognize this one. Huh. 
Ow. All right. Ow. What do I do? Ow. Understand. Can I hit him with anything? Understand that fight at all. Like, I know he was countering me, but I didn't, I don't know how to stop him from doing that. Uh. I was in standing in one, but it didn't seem like it helped any. Maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention to what one I was in, if that matters.
remember this thing either. Out of all the bosses that I remembered from this, it was only the one in the middle. killed me. I'm not sure what happened there. I just got whatever that was, and I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I was grabbing a beer. <laughs> Breaches. No pants. That makes sense. Zeno Benz. Oh. I got an axe. Neat. <laughs> Right? Never better. Ah, oh, 
I think that answers my question. We've accomplished our objectives as well. Lisa's unit should be advancing upon the fire control center in the command tower. Let us join them. All right. Twelve, you're all right. Of course she is. And you. There's the control center. Let's hit them hard and fast. Ready? This is going to be a problem. I, I gave the order to fire. It was over. The skulls had surrendered. No one else had to die, and you killed them. Your own people. Your own comrades. You're right. I killed them. Ansfrid, Rudolf, Emlyn, all the rest. I gave the order that led to their death. Whoops. And I knew exactly what I was doing. Why? Why would you do that? They died so that all Alamegans could live free. That was all we ever wanted. We made a promise that we would do whatever it took so that one day, one day the Imperials would learn to accept us. Oh. But everything comes at a price. And if you haven't got the means to pay, then you pay with blood. Service guarantees citizenship, but citizenship guarantees not. It's not enough to do your part, oh no. You have to run faster, fight harder, kill more and more and more, and only then will you be equal. Well, now I kind of feel bad. That's just how it is out here in the provinces. You buy your freedom with blood. There is no other way. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You don't get to talk about freedom! You killed your own! They trusted you, and you killed them! Murderer! Butcher! Traitor! Uh-oh. I know what you can do. I've already seen it. Not best waifu. Alize. My turn, bitch. Come on. Even so, the odds are against me. For the royal hunt to be hosted at the palace. You may bring your horde if you like. All are welcome.
I'll kill him too. She'll be alright, but we'll need to carry her. Will you help me? I don't think I'm gonna be much help. You'd be better off asking Lise. <laughs> Thank you. Lise, I leave matters here in your hands. Uh, right. Too many. Ah, too many. We did it. Castra Mavania belongs to us now. Nago and her people took Ali Seda to Radiata to receive treatment. Alphano tells me she'll make a full recovery. I know I should be happy. We won, and with minimal casualties, but somehow it feels empty. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I guess. Well, it's not like you can even tell. <laughs> Sergeant, Commander Hex, fine work you did today. After Specula Imperatoris, we need a we needed a resounding victory like this. Thanks to you, Raugar's star yet burns bright. I'm glad, really I am. But you should know that Alice was injured in the fighting. Regrettable, but I am pleased to hear she will make a full recovery. Fordola's parting words, on the other hand, ring less favorably in my ears. But if Zenos wishes to invite us to his so-called royal hunt, then this bull would fain accept. What troubles you, Lise? Oh, it's nothing really, just that we're almost to the end, but we've still got to save Kryle and do so much more. We'll find her soon enough. Pippin has, has his best men scouring the Castrum's archives as we speak. Listen, Lise, it will take time for us to fully occupy the castrum and prepare to advance to the locks. While we wait, there is something I would like you to show you, both of you. After all, this may be the last chance we have to catch our breath before the final push. I don't see why not. I'm in. Now come with me to Radiata. From there, we will need to follow another road south. No worries. You can definitely take one. I don't think there's going to be another dungeon for a little while yet. Not until the ending one, anyway. Surely you'll be done with it by then.
Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Shinryu and Omega... Well, I still think they're coming back, but... I'd be hard-pressed to see how they're coming back soon. Maybe they're big, long game set up. Even after all these years, it's still the same. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You deserve a proper welcome. I pick... that. Sergeant, Lise, I brought you both here for a reason. Open up my last beer. Well, my last bottle of beer. I wanted to show you this house. I still have that my hard house. coffee my wife bought me. Your house? You mean this is where you grew up? Aye. Not much to look at, is it? Same could be said of the village. It was damn near impossible to live off the land, barren as it was. Which is why so many of us traded our plowshares for swords. Swords and uniforms, mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire. And there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. It's a frightening thing to face Magitek armor for the first time. But after a lot of trial and error, I found ways to bring them down. After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. <laughs> and then one day they hit us. Hard. I was wounded and sent home to recover. Back here. Remain silent for fear of the Mad King's vengeance? Of his eyes and ears in the shadows and his knives in the dark? You who call this living dishonor our nation? It is but a slow death. Hmm. Raban war. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. If this be your creed, then raise up your hands, raise up your voices. Together we will tear Theodoric from the throne. Together we will reclaim our freedom. <sighs> Send you home to me. It men, might be. They? Aye, sir. Garlean's got the better of us. The... the Chirurgeons say I'm healing well, so it won't be long now. Liberty or death, is it? Tell me, soldier. What do you think those words mean? We... we must needs be willing to die for liberty. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And it is never truly finished. 
But if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up to find you've traded one tyrant for another. Well, sir, I've never asked for much. Never wanted to live like a king, just wish it were a little bit easier is all. For me and everyone else. And I'm... I'm willing to die for that, if that's what it takes. Dying is easy, soldier. Living is harder. Rest, mend. Regain your strength. You'll need it in the days to come. And may at one day we will need it too. I'll tell you what I need to turn the fan up in here, because holy fuck is it hot. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lise, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. Liberty or death? Those were Curtis's words and his creed. Will you swear by your father's creed before your comrades and the guards? Liberty or death? That's all you can hope for in war. Father understood that. And you want to know if I do too. I swear to you, here and now, I will fight until the end. Be it liberty or be it death. But the freedom we win must be for every Alamegan. Even ones like Fordola, though they may hate us. And the Ananta, though they may fear us. We'll fight, and we'll talk, and we'll find a way to make it work for all of us. Compared to all that, retaking our home is not the easy part. Hmm. A good oath. And there is naught else to say. You are indeed your father's daughter. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Even a blind man could see that Lise wasn't herself. Not that I don't understand. To be thrust into a position of authority under such circumstances. To be made responsible for the lives of so many. It isn't easy. And when you see your friend get cut down before your eyes, it only gets harder. I'll wager she thought the thought Alice was dead for a moment back there. It is one thing to risk your life for the cause, but to risk that of another is a burden no soldier is ever truly ready to shoulder. The fear, the guilt, it weighs on her. And that's good. It'll make her a better commander. But first, she needs to learn to carry it, to not let it break her. To remember that some causes are worth fighting for. Liberty or death, her father's words gave me strength once. Perhaps they'll do the same for her now. Right then, I think I've said enough. The two of you can head back. I mean to stay a bit longer. I never thought it was bad, but I feel like they're dangling a lot of plot threads that they've set up, like I mentioned earlier with Shinryu and Omega and... Uh, we just kind of cut away from All Amigo for like half of it. Like it's still good, and I'm still enjoying it, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's close to Heaven's Word. Yet somehow, still leagues better than A Realm Reborn. It's wild, how vastly different each of these has been so far. I should say that this is also like the difference between. Like an 8 out of 10 and a 9 out of 10. You know? Like, they're still all really good. I understand. He's been away for a long time. And he probably wants to be alone for a while. Let's head back to Radiata. Am I the only one who feels like I'm being watched? 
I don't know if the Imperials are its bandits, but I know there's more than one of them. Let's fill it up. You head northwest and I'll head northeast. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Let him follow. Oh, hello, Aether Current. I'll take that. Seven hells, you've seen us, sought it. Dead's as good as alive to the Imperials. Oh, come on, guys. No such luck, friend. See, I don't think that any of them have been bad. It's just that I think that, uh... The order is the order, and that's just kind of how it is. Like, this is still good, but... I don't know, it doesn't feel like we're winding up to some kind of grand conclusion. Like it did in Heaven's Word and Realm Reborn. But the story itself has been really good. They attacked you too, didn't they? I had no choice. They're Alamegan, not even conscripts by the look of them. Barely adults. In fact, some of their faces look familiar. Wait, I remember. They're from Radiata. They must have seen us when we were looking for Stark. They probably thought the Imperials would reward them if they captured or killed. Oh, God. Zelly saying Alfino could be in danger too. We have to get back to Radiata and find Nago. Like, all the Doma stuff was really cool. I'm, like... I like all of the characters. I like the plots that they've gone through. But I don't know. It, it doesn't... It doesn't feel like... It, it feels like this should still be going on for, like, another half an hour or more, you know? Or, like, another 30 quests. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm coming up to a conclusion right now. I feel like I haven't done much in this part. You know? What's all this about? You two look ready for a fight. We were ambushed by villagers outside of Radiata, and I thought they might try to attack you too. Are you alright? Yes. Alright, we're fine. The twins are at Stark's. Alice was asleep last I checked. I'm sorry, did you say that you were ambushed by villagers, not soldiers? Did they not see what we just did to Castro Mabania? God's damned fools. Beast, oldest, we overheard you talking. The ones who attacked you, they were young, less than 20 summers? Aye, I thought so. It's always the young ones. The young ones who have only ever known the occupation. They're the ones you've got to look out for. See, the only decent work to be found in Radiata is for the Imperials. And everyone knows it. Children grow up knowing it. They have it pour pondered under their, pounded into their skulls that the best they can hope for is to serve an Imperial officer. Bloody fools. After everything they've seen us accomplish, they ought to be begging to fight in the Resistance, not against us. 
They've been living in the shadow of a castle from their whole lives. A few victories won't change that. Aye, you get some who, can, who can't wait to spit in a soldier's eye, or they get beaten for their trouble, or worse. Even so. And the ones that don't fight back but refuse to beg, well, they just starve. Beat the dog that bites his master's hand and ignore the dog that refuses to do his bidding, see? In the end, the ones that learn to abide are the ones that survive. Now you may say that that's all about to change, and I believe you. Many here do. But a young man or woman who grew up only knowing what he knows has got every reason to doubt. Remember that. Do what you have to, if it comes to it, but remember that. The sooner we liberate Alamigo and bring an end to the occupation, the better. Only then can we show these youths that things do not have to be this way. Only then will they know what it means to live free. We're going, we're going to build a new home for ourselves together. A better home than they've ever known. I like the way those look, actually. Now that's samurai-ish. I've been thinking. If Alexei needs more time to heal, maybe we should move her to Ralgur's Reach. She can receive much better care there, after all. Our infirmary is probably the best place for her, short of sending her to Gridania. Indeed, and given Mistress Wode has told us, I would rather she did not remain here. Then it's settled. Now go, go and see about getting us a carriage and an escort. Alphano, you should see the... You should get your sister ready for the journey. Oldest, would you mind going ahead and telling Aurelia that we're in our way? I want a bed waiting for LSA when she arrives. Thanks. Yeah, but the post-game... The post... I don't want to say the post-game doesn't count, because it does. But it's really mostly just used for wrapping up a couple of loose plot points. And setting up the next. I'm not including the post-games at all in my talk of which expansion I feel is better as a whole. Because if I am, then Heaven's Word, or, uh, because if I am, then, uh, A Realm Reborn gets knocked down several pegs, from dead last to even further dead last. No, I was just talking like the regular set of expansion, not what they add afterwards. I can't really compare this game, this as a whole, with the post game to the other. Obviously, because I haven't gotten there yet. So I'm just specifically talking about the expansion as it exists, without the extra content added in between. If we're comparing a whole package like that, ooh, 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 a Home Reborn gets knocked down to like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. <laughs> Horrendous. Hmm. Do you require assistance? Very well. We will make you. We will make ready to receive the patient at once. Give me a hand, would you? There, all crisp and freshly laundered. We're here. Is everything in order? All good. Right, we're bringing her in.
Honestly, Alpha, no, you needn't have gone to all this trouble. What can I say? It seemed a good way to discourage you from living off to the battle when my back was turned. Listen to Aurelia, please. You need your rest. I know, I know. Any news of Kryal? She'll be cross if you make her wait too long, as will I. <laughs> a chilling prospect indeed. I'll find her, sister, and I'll fight twice as hard for the both of us. I still feel bad for you. They're good together, when they're not at each other's throats. I miss that feeling. Oldest, I have a favor to ask. Would you mind waiting outside for me? I won't be a moment. Oh my. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Hello. Well, what do you think? I know it's a bit old fashioned, but in a traditional sort of way, Ida wore it whenever she could. Splendid idea. Not that I'm pretending to be her or anything. Not again. It's just. If this is the last battle we fight to free El Amigo, then she ought to be a part of it. It's nice of you to say so. And a bit embarrassing. But mostly nice. Oh, Lise. I'm gonna go have a punch fight up on that giant statue. I'm put my anyway, monk clothes the on real real quick. reason I asked you here was to sneak in a warm up before the final battle. Oh, okay. There's this place I know where monks used to spar as part of their training. <laughs> Care to join me? About my aura, I made him my. Uh, I made him my, uh... My, uh... What's the word? Retainer. Because I saved his customization data. I have a sword. This isn't fair. Oh, okay. It's fair now. They gave her a sword, too. I should have been monk for this, goddammit. Then it would have been lore accurate. My sword just clipped through my hat. Probably one of these. Hold up. Do I still have one on me? Yeah, it's probably one of these. Or something similar. They look goofy as hell. Maybe we got a little carried away, but you have to admit that was fun. Thank you, Oldest. You're the best kind of friend. 
The kind that's not afraid to knock some sense into you. Old me. <laughs> That might be fitting for the Reaper, kinda. I'll get that. Now that Ellie says settled in, it's time we rejoin the fight. Though actually, maybe you and Alpha don't should go on ahead without me. I need to talk strategy with the officers. And that might take a while. Ah, there you are. What was it at least wanted of you? You're all sweaty. You do didn't... Oh, a sparring match. Never mind. On the destroyer's very palm. I would have liked to have seen that. But she's right. We've lingered here long enough. I'm ready to depart when you are. Take care, you two. Don't do anything I wouldn't. And you'd better not rise from that bed until you are given express permission to do so. Urian Jay will be paying you a visit soon, and he is already worried enough as it is. We have a long road ahead of us. Lead the way, oldest. What were you two doing? You're all sweaty. You didn't have... Oh! No, that was just me ad-libbing. He didn't actually say that. <laughs> you know how I like to say funny things sometimes. That was me making a joke. <laughs> Just like all the jokes I made at Thancred and Hilda's expense. <laughs> I did so not uh, not so long ago. The problem is I only have like 70 of them, so I only got like one thing. Though I haven't checked in a while since uh, I took up healer. Maybe I have like at least 80 now. Let's look. Oh, I do have 80. I'll be damned. I was sitting at like 76 or 77 before. Pick up healer and you do a couple dungeons and all of a sudden you've got like 7 more. Soon you'll have a thousand. Maybe.
Did I tell you guys that I found a, uh, I found out that there was a, uh, that you can, uh, go onto the, uh, the Lodestone website and buy the Lunar Whale as a mount? It costs forty-two dollars, and it's an eight-seater. <laughs> You're returned. How fares your sister, Alphano? Her rapier wilt remains undulled, for better or worse. Oh, I didn't get to finish reading all that. I'm proud to say that Castro Mabania is now wholly under our control. At the present, we are taking stock of the enemy's supplies and redistributing them amongst our men. Also, while sifting through the officer's documents, we learn that there's a unit of skulls under Fordola's command passed through the Castro en route to the capital with a single prisoner in their custody. Kryle, it has to be her. In all likelihood, yes. You'll be glad to hear that the tunnel leading to the locks has been secured by our soldiers and is now safe to her travel. One final piece of good news... Reinforcements from all four Alliance nations have arrived and joined the main host, which has established a new base of operations within the locks. Commander Hex should be arriving soon, yes? When she does, we will call a meeting to discuss the final stage of Ralgar's Beacon. I'm here. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. An Alamegan folk dress? How very fitting. And well fitting, I might add. Jesus, Alphano! I want to do something for Ida and myself. This is it, the last push. We're coming, Kryle. I might as well have just said. Your honkers look nice in that, Lise. <laughs> now this looks like a place that I, I should be able to buy poetics. Words. How they rang in my ears as we left Castromabania behind and looked out over the locks before us. Comrades, brave and true. They had come from all across Eorzea to stand with us. To stand against oppression and tyranny. Twenty years the Empire had ruled us, but no longer. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. Ere we begin, I would say to you as a proud son of Alamigo that I am grateful to each and every one of you for your part in this endeavor. You're welcome. Oh, Emmerich's here too. Good to see you again, old bean. Now, to the heart of the matter. The enemy appears content to remain within the city walls and await the inevitable siege. Open conflict has been sporadic thus far. Whether Xenos is biding his time until reinforcements arrive, or attempting to bait us into a trap, none can say. We know better than to trust his word. He's hanging out in there. Regardless, we can ill Now it's feeling a little bit like we're coming to a resolution. To it would be in our best interest to press for a swift resolution. A long siege wouldn't be good for the people in the city either. If food becomes scarce, you know who'll starve first. Just so. Therefore, I propose we commit our forces to an all-out assault. What say you? To a 
seem we are of one mind. Then let us proceed to the how of it. The immortal flames will form the vanguard, supported by the archers and the conjurers of the Order of the Twin Adder, under the Elder Seed Seer's command. Once the main host has cleared a path to the walls, we will bring forward the artillery of the Maelstrom and the Temple Knights. I would have your cannons pound the gates and punch a hole right through the middle of their defenses. What about the Resistance? Your part will be to occupy the residential district and keep civilians out of harm's way. The people are more like to trust their own. Of course. You can count on us. If this was at least ten there minutes ago... second entrance to the city proper there. If all goes to plan, we will have secured two points of entry. At least ten hours ago would have been like, no, fuck Once you, I want to go fight. Are complete, that's called the character growth. The palace and hunt down Xenos. As for the science, you will be held in reserve as an irregular unit until we have more intelligence on your captured comrade. Kryle's rescue will be your primary concern. But I dare say we'll find a use for you once her freedom has been secured. Thank you, General. I pray we find her quickly. Ralga's beacon nears its end. Soon, my friends. Alamico will be ours once more. Hilda and her watch will keep each guard safe in my absence. You know I would not miss this for the world, my friend. Although I have been brief I have briefed our officers of Garlean and tactics and magitech design, I cannot say with confidence it will be of much use. Xenos has employed unorthodox strategies before, and I know little of these new prototypes. Ow. So many lives lost, so much blood shed. But it'll not be in vain. It was no small feat that we brought this with us the main battery from Triumph. You should look forward to the show. Indeed I will. Hi. All right. Feels like we're building up to a conclusion now. The stage is set and the players are assembled. Eosia has come at the last to drive the invaders from our lands. What would Grandfather say if he were here with us today?
For all of our accomplishments, Crowell remains in the hands of our enemy. And I find myself wondering if we, if I could have done more, though we know not that she was taken to the city. We have found nothing which might tell us where she is being held. You know, you could just ask me. Thancred, what have you learned? I shall spare you the particulars of mine infiltration and simply state that I have seen her with my own eyes. She is being held within the residential district south of the city proper. I tracked her to the ruins of an old temple in, of the Fist of Ralgar, within which the Imperials have constructed a research facility. A research facility? What manner of research? Why, methods to imbue Garleans with the power to manipulate ether. In pursuit of which goal, their scientists have, I am sorry to report, performed many questionable experiments on living subjects. What? Calm down, Alphano. We've already been tasked with securing the Alamegan Quarter. This just gives us a reason to do it faster. I entered the and exited the facility by stowing aboard Imperial transports, but that method is not suitable for a larger force. And it goes without saying that a direct assault on the rather substantial main gates would be ill-advised. I think I might know someone who can help. One of my men. He had an idea about how to get into the city. Actually, it might be best if I let him explain himself. It's been a while. I'll take no offense if you don't remember. Might even be glad of it. Alagana, am I right? Aye. Whiskers, the name. I was raised in the peaks, but my mom grew up in the city. Uh, any road. I reckon we can get inside the Alamegan Quarter by way of Loch Sild. What? How? Uh, it was a story my mom told us which made me think of it. She was always going on about what life was like when she was a girl, see? How they used to have to boil the water from the well before they could drink it since it was full of salt. They were drawing salt water from the locks, which means there must be an underwater tunnel or something. Aye, that's it, but it won't be as simple as going for a swim. The well was closed, see? Apparently, Theo Theodric decided one day that he wanted to control the water supply and forbade water trading. So even if you come up through it, you'll find yourself on the wrong side of a locked gate. At the time, my grandfather, being an enterprising sort, befriended a guard and lifted the key from his belt. He made a copy and carried on selling water until the Imperials invaded, and he ended up working at the saltery. In short, we need your grandfather's key, assuming he still has it. I'm certain he does, and I can take you to him, but it'll be dangerous. Don't worry about that, we're used to dangerous. Now go and our involved will assemble a squadron while the rest of us go and get that key. Sounds like a plan. Let's not waste any more time, shall we? My mom said gran Granddad kept the key with him at all times as a lucky charm. If he hasn't got it, then, well... Then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ready, oldest? We may have to deal with a few Imperial patrols or worse. Saltery is not far. Follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. We're here, but this isn't right. Where is everyone? 
Word of the Alliance advance has surely reached their ears. Mayhap they sought refuge elsewhere. We should search the buildings for clues. Lots of salt. Salt. I got lost on one earlier. Uh, I guess it was a while ago now. It was the, the one where you had to follow that... Uh, it was in Ishgard and you had to follow that one guy through the snow to the headquarters of like the, the people that were setting fire to the houses and stuff. I think it was the arsonists. Uh, the rebellion group that was uh, trying to stop us from making peace with the dragons. You had to like beat this one guy up but not kill him and had have him lead you to their headquarters. And I didn't realize that and I killed him and I walked around for like 30 minutes. In the wake of the ambush, you find a diary belonging to a laborer. The last entry makes mention of a plan to take shelter in the Sally Monastery. Alright, let's go. You want me to go there? I don't know where it is. I'm going to assume that that's it. No, that's back at the... Yeah, the map's real helpful. Guess we'll go this way.
to the south. So that is this way, okay. It's much nicer during big pulls. I never really thought about using it there. Because it does do more damage if more enemies stand in it than the regular AoE that it has. It's just not worth it to use it against bosses because the lightning does uh, the same amount of damage. You know what I mean? If a boss stands in it, it'll do the same amount of damage over time as one lightning bolt would normally. So it's not really worth it. And there's no guarantee that the boss will even stand in it the whole time. So after I figured that out, I just never used it at all. But uh, it's a good shout for using it against pools. That works out way better. Actually, it might be a little bit better than the lightning now because I'm pretty sure it got buffed last patch. But that's even still, you'd have to make sure it, it's not very likely that a boss will uh, stand still that long. It is, it's really good. The only times you ever really want to use anything else, like uh, the ice attack here, is because it does bind, but half the time shit's not really weak to bind, so it doesn't matter. And the other one is the... One second. What does it have? The Suiton. Let's you use abilities that you could only use to be able to use while hidden. Which is good, but I'm not using any of those right now anyway, because even while hidden, it's still not great. It's better whenever you first get that, whenever you're doing like level 40 stuff. As it is, I think there's only one attack that requires you to be hidden to, to do it. Trick attack. Not every boss. Some of the first and second bosses in a dungeon are, are uh, weak to it. Oh, we just go around it.
But the problem is Ninja has other stuff that's way better, so you're never going to, uh... I didn't try and buy the giant motorcycle, no. It's usually not all of them. Like, but if you're fighting a boss, chances are that, uh, one of the first or second bosses in a dungeon will be weak to some form of status effects. It's just the third one never is, ever. I don't think I've ever seen one of them. why you won't let me attack this. There we go. The fire is an AoE, so it's it's always good for pulls. I don't think it has any other uh, bonus effects tied to it. The water one lets you do uh, attacks that require you to be hidden without needing to be hidden. But there's only like one of those so it's not really worth it. Yeah, I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, you've got the shuriken, which is just big, which is just 450, uh, 450 potency attack. Uh, the fire, um, is an AoE of 350. Rhyton is lightning damage with 650. Hayaton does bind for 350. Huiton does, uh... My gauge there. It, uh... It turns my gauge on, which just makes all of my attacks cool down faster. But I have other abilities that do that now without costing me that, so... That's kind of worthless now. Doton does the 80, uh, 80 dot dam, uh, 80 potency dot damage. Suiton, uh, allows the execution of attacks which require the effect of hidden. But there's only, like, one of those, which is trick attack here. 400 when executed from the rear, but you can only do it while you're hidden. So that would let you do that without needing to be hidden, but it kind of sucks, because you're never hidden. And that's it. There's hardly any there's hardly any reason for you to need to be hidden. Because there are better attacks. <laughs> so literally the only things that you would ever really want to use are the thunder, the fire, and uh Doton for occasionally uh getting pulls. This is it, the monastery. They have to be around here somewhere. If you get a big enough pool and you tra and you uh, the tank holds them there, then you do that. And... You could, yeah, but there are so many other things that you could do. Wacker, by Ralger, is it really you? It was a lot better, like whenever you first got that ability because there wasn't a whole bunch of better shit that you could do then. Oh, it's good to see you alive and well, lad, but who are these other ones? The Resistance, Granddad. My, uh, comrades in arms. She told you all about me thumbing my nose at the Mad King, did she? <laughs> Daft Saw's never caught me, either. Wasn't much, but it was my way of rebelling against his rule. Glad to see you've got higher aspirations. Here, make our family proud. Aw, oh, that's nice. I will, I swear. Ralgler is my witness. That's nice. Because, like, then, as you go along, you get more stuff like... Dream Within a Dream, which attacks three times for 150... Horrigen 
uh, does 200, but grants the Huitan, uh, the Huitan gauge that makes my attacks faster without needing to do my ninja skills for it. Then there are these things, which are attacks from my other gauge. Uh, and then there's this thing, which I have to stand completely still to use, but it lets me cast each of the three attacks in order. And there's this AoE. There's just so many better stuff that you get now that it's not really worth it. There's a reason to use Suiton though. It increases my gauge by 50 if I do it. Five attacks of blitzing, each attack allowing your shadow. Oh. Damn. Alright. Ignore your mechanics and just do your big moves for free. That's literally what it is. Like, that Tenchi Jin, I'll show you exactly how it works whenever I get into a fight. I was worried when he wasn't at the saltery, but we found him in the end. Now that we've got that key, it's time to find that underwater tunnel. We need to dive into the locks and look for a tunnel leading beneath the residential district. That should be no problem for Oldest and me, thanks to the Kojin's blessing, but for the rest of you, I will have you know that I can't hold my breath for ten minutes. I think it's best that I support Monago at Hardenwald's unit. Oh right, you can't swim. I am aware of that, thank you, but it's neither here nor there, given that I lack both the Kojin's blessing and Thancred's prenatural lung capacity. Right, right, of course. I didn't mean anything by it. Nothing at all. So, Aldous, Thancred, and me. Let's head to the water's edge. Alpha, Noah, and Whisker can enjoy the others and wait outside the gates for us. So, like, ordinarily... I have to do my combos right to change what it does. So like Jin Chi does lightning. One by itself does the ninju uh, does the ninja star, you know, and then that's Dotan using all three. If I use this spell then I can go and use them one right after the other. But I can't move. But it automatic it skips me having to use hand skills and lets me pick which order I want to do them in without casting my hand signs. Which is kind of wild. like three attacks for free. They have charges. You can see them charging now. I have two right now. I can do two of them. And then I have a wait. But then I also have this thing over here, the the Kasatsu, which gives me a charge for free. And then, uh, look at my speed now. And then if I do that with my gauge active, way faster. But they're only on 20 second cooldown, uh, the hand signs, so it's not so bad.
And then the ninja only has one combo. It has two separate enders that you can put on there, though. One that you don't get until later, but the later one that I do have, the one that I have equipped now, puts 30 back on the uh, the timer for my other move, for my speed speed boost. I'm telling you, if you can remember what signs make what, Ninja's rotation is pretty simple. You just got to remember that 10 plus Chi equals lightning, you know? Or, in the case of controller player, whatever you set the buttons to, X holding down, like for me, holding down L2, pushing X square, and then triangle does your lightning, you know? This looks as good a place as any. Ere you dive into the briny deep. Uh, hello. Orion J, what are you doing here? Mr. Alphanote informed me of your plan, and thus I did hasten to your side. When Mr. Sally Say unfolded to me the tale of her defeat, I was much intrigued by the ap apparent ease with which Fordola, a there to for a there to for exceptional warrior, defied my lady's every attempt to do her harm. After some days of deliberation, I subsequently contrived what I believed to be a solution to the problem of her pre <laughs> preternatural persistence. It was in hopes of furnishing you with the fruits of my labors that I came. There are two four. Wait, isn't that Moon Breeders? Her etheric siphon formed the basis for my design. Should my hypothesis prove correct, you need but activate it in her presence. To say more would endanger the plan, for ignorance is your shield. Sounds good enough to me. It was Morn Breeders' time. It's not yours, my friends. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal and return. We will, for you and for her. Right, I'm going in. Follow me. I like going underwater. It's like I can fly, but not really because it's underwater. Was it not supposed to be here? That's not right. Huh. Guess I'm going to go back up. I think I jumped in the water at the wrong spot. Oh, maybe I did. Or maybe I did. I can't even tell. Just once, whenever someone says follow me, I'd like them to stay on screen long enough for me to follow them.
Aha! The sun will leave his heat. already gone ahead. Let's not keep him waiting. Well, of course he's already gone ahead. He can't breathe under here that long. I mean, he can breathe under water a long time, but... He's not got the infinite like we do. What are the odds that I get the same two in roulette? Right in a row. I have so many maps. That was fun. Yes, yes, tremendous fun. Who needs a beast man's plus blessing anyway? I still can't believe you managed to hold your breath the entire time. I felt like we were down there for hours. Anyway, it's time we let our friends in. Once we head up these stairs, we need to make our way to the main gates, which are somewhere to the west of here? Forgive me for stating the obvious, but it bears repeating that until we've opened the gates, the three of us are on our own. It would be in our best interest to avoid the guards and easily startled small folk. Obviously, but once our guests have arrived, we'll be able to f we'll be free to head towards the research facility where Kryl is being held as loudly as we like. Since you've been here before, will you lead the way? Of course, but I will move quickly, so see to it that you do not fall far behind. Nothing left to say, then. Let's get to it. Oh, boy. There's the winch. The gates are open. Fancred jumping over boxes and shit. <laughs>
Power Dome, ha huh? I mean... <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. Where is she? Where's the butcher, too? I want her dead. There you are. Come on. I reckon you lot would come, but I didn't think you'd have the nerve to break down the bloody break the bloody doors down. Makes no difference to me though. Time to die. Use the Aetheric Siphon to weaken Fordola and defeat her in battle. Read her every move. No such luck, sister. Oh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit. I was out of the way. Don't bullshit me, game.
I know, and it's still fucking stupid. that one was dead. Your every move. it already though
Get your pieces! I have no idea what happened there. Oh. Well, good job, Lise. Punch her again. You will. Without your tricks, you're nothing. Conrad, Mefrit, your own comrades. I should kill you here and now for what you did. But there's no place for that kind of justice here. Not in my Alamigo. Oh, how very bloody noble of you. Or you'll pardon me my sins, will you? After you and your freedom fighters come and tear down everything we've worked so hard to build. We were fighting for our people's freedom. There's no freedom in that! Now, my friend!
Well, I think this is the button that opens the pot. Cryle. Cryle. Alphina? I knew you'd come. Oh. Touching as this moment is, it will have to wait. We should rejoin the main force at once. Lise! I'm taking her back with us, alive. She's going to answer for what she's done. <laughs> Listen to you, talking like you've already won. Xenos is gonna tear you apart. He commands a power, echoing that of the Icons. You know how many of those that I fucking killed, what are you bitch? About? The hunt, you stupid cow. I'm talking about the hunt. He said you'd come, and here you are, his willing prey. You stupid you cow. And your friends are dead, just like mine. And all our misery, all our sacrifice, it was all for naught. No. You're going to live long enough to see us win our freedom. I promise you that. May I live a thousand years. Interrogations can wait. Let us be off. What a relief it is to have finally found her. Though our greatest challenge yet lies ahead of us on the eve of this final battle. I find myself overcome with joy. We could not have saved her without everyone's help. Then Cred Lee, Ariane Jay, and of course you. But yes, there's still much more and more to come. So, so, there's still much and more to be done. I should be very interested in learning the method of Fordola's ominous words, for one. Yeah, that might be a problem. Lisa's gone to deliver Fordola into the custody of the Alliance, leaving Monago and her men on to hold the resi distri residential district and stand by. Uh. Stream stop showing me the chat on my phone. One second. There we go. Once the Alliance has breached the main gates and commanded their assault, and commenced their assault, the resistance forces will push through the entrance here and join the fray. In that case, I will remain here. My search for Corral took me into the city proper. My familiarity with the defenses may prove useful to the resistance. Understood. I shall instruct Aaron Vault and his unit to render support as well. They were tasked with securing the 8th right, as I recall, with me, oldest. Triple triad match is not allowed in the current area. Why not? What do you mean I can't challenge Xenos to a game of cards? Bullshit. God, 
Watts Cryle, it's good to see you. I feel the worst. It wasn't your fault. You saved me, all of you. Thank you. We will be departing shortly for Porta Praetoria to rejoin the main host. Arnvald, I would have your unit remain here with Thancred, that you might support the resistance troops in the coming battle. Understood. We won't let you down. I trust that you would refrain from doing anything that I would not. We are both far too young to die. Right, right. No noble sacrifices. Got it. Do 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 Oldest cry. Let us be off then. It has been a hot minute since we've played Yu-Gi-Oh. Buddy, you're clipping through the gate. The fact that she said Xenos has the power of the icons leads me to believe that uh, we'll fight him and he'll be the final boss of a dungeon or something. And then he's going to be all like, but actually, I've summoned this other thing. And that's going to be the actual final fight. And then he's probably going to leave. Calling it now. That's my prediction. Do you think Xenos is triple triad deck? <laughs> Good night, Ace. You can always catch up later. Sorry to see you take off. We're probably pretty close to the end. Ah. Uh, do you think Xenos is triple triad deck just has a bunch of cards of himself? Just his card like four times, five times. He seems that type. The one time I didn't check. Heroes of the hour. Not content with securing the residential district, you gifted me an Imperial commander. What are you after, a medal? 
Ah. The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? I do like jelly and or jam, usually. I'm not... I don't usually put just honey on bread. Uh, either I do jelly or jam or peanut butter. Might she speak of our missing Omega? Oh, shit. Very possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it. If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the Pilus' claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryle. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled, there are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Mm. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Oriange's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. Oh, you've got to stop doing that. <laughs> in calling upon Lady Alizé after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. It was as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my Lady Alice's soul. Wait, have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? Oh shit. I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and twas this which led me to develop my stratagem. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations, the shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. 
Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, twas a most fortuitous outcome. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Uriange is correct, that would mean these resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. A sobering thought, to say the least. And one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must, for there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. Exactly. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in Xenos' boots. Not with the likes of us coming to get him. Right. I'd best get back to the residential district. Thancred and the Resistance forces are waiting. It is time we join the main host. Kryle, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. If I may, General, is there not all that I can do to assist with the final preparations? I'm glad you asked. Pippin informed me moments ago that all the forces are in position and that we already commenced the assault. Now it remains but to notify the Alliance commanders. If you have no objections, I should be glad to have you do the honor, Sergeant. You were instrumental in the success of the operation. Of Operation Archon, you'll bring it into the Dragon Song War. You are a hero to the people and a symbol of hope. Some might judge it an empty gesture, or worse, a waste of your talents, but I know it would mean much to everyone here. Hey, Hammerick. Ha! That you should be the one to bring me word. But by the fury, it's good to see you, my friend. You, who stood with us in our direst hour, will ever be an inspiration to my countrymen and to me. Though Ishgard's debt can never be repaid, it is my hope that our deeds this day shall go some small way to re redressing the balance. All is ready. Very well. Though many will fall in the coming battle, how many more shall know liberty for their sacrifice? There is a time for peace and a time for war. Even the Matron understands this. We who have received hers and the Elemental's blessing go now to stand for Eorzea and her children. It's time then. But this is no, my, not my theater of choice. We will play our part. Our cannons care not either way. The battery has snuck enough ships to fill a fleet. Has sunk enough ships to fill a fleet. It is not like to be bested by a gate. Is done then. Thank you, Sergeant, for humoring an old bull. Maelstrom, Adder, and Ishgardian forces are in position, General. Resistance forces in the Alamegan Quarter are ready to, and await our signal. Not left to do with the deed itself. Right then, I must go to my men. I shall be leading the first charge to the breach. Then we shall head to the front. Pippin has command of our artillery outside of the gates. He will not be hard to find. 
Uh, but before you go, I have a final favor to ask. Give this to my son. He will understand. Yeah. Very well done, him and Pippin. Ignore me. Well, it looks like a final dungeon if I've ever seen one. And I have. Stop it. Sergeant Alphano, Sergeant Alphano, hmm? what's that you've got there? Ah! Oh, by the twelve, this is this is Tizana, the Bull of Alamigo's legendary sword, forged from two cursed blades. This sword is a symbol of everything my father fought to achieve. A weapon claimed on the bloodstains. On the blood sands, and with it, fortune and glory. Its flames consumed the unworthy, but by fire was he reborn. That he should bequeath it to me now, to carry on his legacy. Well, I shall endeavor to deserve it, but I'll be damned if this is his final battle. Once we begin, there will be no res respite until it's over. Are you ready, my friends? I mean, he's got the other one, right? Very well. Brace yourselves. This should be quite the spectacle. Vice Marshal, Vice Marshal, Imperial, Imperial unit approaching from the north. Aiming to destroy our artillery, are they? How many? Total numbers unconfirmed. At least one squadron. But sir, they're wolfmen. Fere Domitai. Bloody hells. That's all we need. Call up the Bloodsworn. Tell them to make ready. Marshal Terrapin, wait. These wolfmen of whom you speak hail from Doma. They were coerced into fighting for the Empire, spirited away from a, to a foreign land, and told that if they disobeyed, their lives of their kin would be forfeit. But their homeland has been liberated. They have no reason to continue serving the Imperial Masters. Ere you engage them in battle, I beseech you, grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. I am loath to give our enemy more time to prepare. But if there's a chance that conflict might be avoided, I suppose we must take it. Go then, but be quick. We will, Vice Marshal. With me, Aldous. Didn't Raubon have two swords? Before his arm got cut off, you know? Or am I making that up? And I'm totally full of shit. Oh, he combined them both into that?
That's super cool, actually. <laughs> like, what makes you think that your dad is just giving you his sword? He didn't, uh... <laughs> didn't he just give you the one that he, uh... He can't use anymore because he's only got one arm? <laughs> That's what I thought was happening. I was like, oh, he's giving him the other sword. That's really nice. Lots of single instance duties. Ooh, right here for the Lumen to arrive. Still yourself, my friend. We hope to resolve this without resorting to violence. It would seem wise to prepare for the worst. Well, whenever you say it like that... They come, Aldous. You, clear the road. Honorable warriors of Doma, my name is Alphano de Levier, and I come before you with news of great import. Silence, boy. You stand upon a battlefield. Be gone or be cut down. Doma is free. Lord Hien has returned and driven Yotsuyu and the Imperials from your lands. We were there. We helped him. There is no need for you to fight for Xenos. Lord Hien is dead, and you are a liar. What could a boy such as you do against Magitek? Throw stones and spit curses? Invoke my lord's name again at your peril. We will suffer no falsehoods. I speak only the truth. Put your weapons. I beg you. Put up your weapons. I beg of you. Let us speak as friends and not shed blood in vain. If your claims were true, we would gladly sheathe our blades and embrace as brothers. But since they must surely be false, we would be traitors to accept. Our lives and those of our loved ones forfeit. Words are air. You will prove the truth. Oh, my. Uh... You are no strangers to battle, that much is plain. I am the White. I am Hakuro, and I will be your opponent. Have at you! <sighs> Alright, buddy.
yourself together! So it comes to this! Enough. You're every bit the warriors you claim to be. You fought with honor and restraint. You could have killed my men, and perhaps even me, but you did not. For this, I thank you. Warriors brave and true, I pray you tell us of the battle for Doma's liberation. We should be glad to do so. Lord Hien returned. Such joy this news brings us. But for Lord Gosetsu to perish in the keep's collapse, to be taken from us by such treachery, there is no justice. You knew him well. Aye, he would not suffer us to mourn with him with so much undone. And so we will not. Duty comes before all. All Lupin shall know of Lo Doma's liberation and of your part in it. When you breach the gates, we shall turn on the Imperials as one. With fang and claw shall we rip open the throats of our masters. This the White swears. Thank you. When our war is ended, I am certain that your lord will help us to return you all to Doma. Such a curious thing, Destiny. To see us meet with friends of Lord Heon in this distant corner of the world. But we shall not keep you. Your day is not yet done. We have a nation to liberate. Come. All right. Negotiations with the Wolfman successful. Indeed. 
The one they called the White was receptive to our words once we told him of Doma's liberation. They withdrew behind the walls to inform their brethren. If the gods are good, no blood shall be shed between our peoples this day. Hey, hey. Now, I think it's time we did something about those gates. Thaumaturges, forward! Give me Hellfire! Give me Ifrit's bloody inferno! <laughs> Sick. Now give me a curse and winter! Enough ice and snow to bury a behemoth! All cannons! Fire at will! Let no man say we neglected to knock! <laughs> Damn that armor! We nearly had it! Is that? Good to see you, buddy. I witness my Eorzean brothers and sisters. Doma has come to pay her debts. Lord Hian. We will deal with the flying machines. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice. Resume firing! Knock knock, Xenos. You geary. Impeccable timing, those domains. Come, comrades, the enemy's gate is down. Forward. Oh, this is the one. In the battle for Alamigo, the battle for Alamigo is at hand. All forces have been ordered to advance into the city proper. I trust your unit of elite adventurers is ready, Sergeant. Excellent. Your objective is to make haste to the capital and kill Xenosia Galvis. Any questions? Of course not. Now go and get the bastard.
If he finds Zenos, you kill him. No hesitation. Others may be taken prisoner, but not him. Not under any circumstances. Alright. Let's do this. I like that guy's gunblade, that's kinda cool.
Attack it while its tail is up. I'm not sure which Final Fantasy that one's from. <laughs> Very good fight. Yes, Claudio! That was sarcasm. <laughs> Did you not hear me immediately go whenever we walked into the room? Attack it while its tail's up!
This might seem like a silly question. Does sarcasm as it is exist in other language other languages? Or is that like an English thing? Where the infliction of your voice has a different meaning like that. Obviously you don't have to answer that now. Just keep it on the back burner for later. <laughs> So I said, you don't have to answer that now. Just keep it on the back burner for later. Now this one I definitely, oh it's the scientist dude, that's why I didn't recognize it, I thought it was a robot. I shall have to share these findings. Whoa. Initiate soul extraction. Soul extraction. Success. Ah. I can't stop moving. I can't move. Uh. There we go. My word, this data. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. That's an interesting concept for a fight.
All right, more laser gates. Hey, buddy. Remember that threat I gave to you about my sword and your ass? Seems like it's about that time. This moment last
This is the end. But I was in the. Ah. Uh. What the fuck? I don't even know what happened that time. Fuck Zenos! He does hit really hard. I didn't get any victory, man. No victory music for that. Primal are you summoning? <laughs> yes! Yes! Such ferocity! Such tenacity! I am loath to recall how disappointed I was when first we fought. But finally, finally, after bathing in the blood and awful of your enemies, finally you prove yourself worthy prey for the hunt. It fills you even now, doesn't it? The hunger to bite down on my jugular. To feel the warmth fill your mouth and run over, even as you drink deep. Good. Good. This is the beast I have longed to face. As you sharpen your claws, I too sought newfound strength. But this is no place for a final contest. Come! The heavens shall bear witness to our dance.
I don't like the sound of that. Oh shit. How didn't we see that on the, on the way in? Welcome to the Royal Menagerie. The King of Ruin built this place for his foreign queen. He kept it filled with familiar creatures from her homeland. They bored me all. This fine specimen, on the other hand, is simply what divine. Oh shit! Your fates are entwined, are they not, Icon Slayer? This dragon, this embodiment of unbridled despair, born of a desperate man's burning hatred for the Empire. Well... How raw the raging tempest that churns within its breast. No myth made manifest this, but... A being of pure violence. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip the Alagon Hound to drive this icon into my arms. That's a terrible idea. Oh, my, have I said too much? Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. Buddy, that thing destroys, like, everything. A question, then, and I should like very much for you to speak from the heart. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? Ah, as simple as that. But of course, you are the Icon Slayer. Such certainty is to be expected. A pity. There is another alternative. Or there would be. Had you only mastered your ability. I don't like where this is I going, Zenos. the Echo, of course. Does it merely render you immune to iconic influence, or is it rather that your influence is far greater than theirs? Granted, these implications are of no moment to a savage who thinks only of killing the beast before him. But when I read Van Belsar's reports, I immediately saw the boundless potential of the Echo. I saw how it could be instrumental in binding an icon to one's will. Hence my research and the resonant. And I know so much more. Xenos, this is a terrible I don't I don't All like where this is going. Must be exterminated without exception. Such was the Imperial mandate issued by my great grandfather. After he saw firsthand the destruction wrought by one such being. They are a blight upon this star, he felt. And so he began his great and just crusade. He's not wrong, Zenos. Ah, it was not justice which spurred his campaign, but fear. Fear of the icons. Fear of their power. I don't think the this is going to work. Made them much more the battle. Pathetic. Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed. Lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity to embrace violence for its own sake. 
For we who are born into this merciless, meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn. I know you understand this. You and I are one and the same. Together, we could while away the quiet hours as friends and confidence. If you accept it. No such luck, Xenos. <laughs> and yet, in doing so, you prove me right. We are warriors. It was plain from the first how this would end. You live for these moments. When all hangs in the balance. When the difference between life and death is but a single stroke. I live for them too. This is who we are, my friend. This is all we are. Alamigo and Doma and Gollumold be damned. Ah, fuck. Zenos, you can't control it. He's gonna fuck shit all sorts up. You know what Bahamut did. Oh, hello, Shinryu. Uh, it's, uh, I'm the high. Fancy seeing you here. That's a problem. Gods, you by your gift, I by my might. Uh -oh. And before the resonant, the gods shall be made to kneel. Oh, good. An ending to mark a new beginning. That's a real problem there. Ready? Yes, I gathered that much, but I still didn't think that even with those powers that he would be able to control something as powerful as Shinryu.
like, you know, maybe Ravana or Susana or, you know, something like that. But I thought something like Shinryu would be too much for him. That's why I'm like, don't do that. That's probably bad. That's fair. At first, I thought it was Omega, until I saw the wing. <sighs> Come on, other DPSs, what are you guys doing? Well. It was a shock to see Shinryu come any, at any case. We went so long without even a whisper about him. Oh yeah, good, I'm glad. I love bosses that can do that. We went for so long without nary a talk about Shinryu, about any, anything about him. But I thought they were saving him for later.
Active time maneuver? What in the fuck is happening? What the fuck? Everybody slid off. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's gonna kill him. Yep. Wow.
wild for there to be a QTE in a fucking MMO. Ow. I don't know what happened there, but all right. I got the last lightning bolt off on him, and then I fell to my death, I think. <laughs> Let no one say that I didn't finish it the cool way. I haven't been given a warning about a long cutscene in a long time. <laughs> no shot, he's actually dead. Are you all right? You're holding your sword backwards. The hunter has indeed become the hunted. And yet, there is only joy. Transcendent joy that I have never known. How invigorating, how pure the 
this feeling. Is that what this was all about? All the meaningless death and destruction, so you could feel something? Meaningless? Men die that others may live. Those who survive are stronger for it. Not that you could ever understand. To have stood upon this great stage of fools. To have played my part of affection. Oh, this. This moment. Let it be enshrined in eternity. My heart beating out of time. So clear. So vivid. So real. So real. The man's lost his nut. Coward! Stop! Farewell, my first friend. What the fuck? Where is he? He's dead. By his own hand. <sighs> and justice has been done. No. There's no justice in that... in that rabid animal's end. Liberty or death? That so many should be forced to take up this creed to defeat such madness. We won. Forget him. The living have need of us now. Stand tall, Lise. Now is the time to raise a cheer for all who fought for freedom. A cheer loud enough to carry to the highest heavens. You're right. Thank you. Without you... Well, you know. So let's do it together. For Alamigo!
In crimson it began, and in crimson it ended. And then, and then we were free. Excellent ending. I wasn't expecting the Final Fantasy song to have lyrics. <laughs> But what is freedom, really? I can see why people put this below Heaven's Word. I think it still is below Heaven's Word. But, it's still really good. We may be free to live, to love, to grow old, to have dreams and desires, and to strive for them. But in the end, we're defined by the legacy our forefathers bequeathed to us. Even Xenos was once a baby in the cradle, innocent and pure. He was made into a creature that lived only for death, not born of. Twenty years of Imperial rule have left Alamigo torn and bleeding. It won't be easy to heal a generation's worth of wounds to bridge the gap. But I won't give up, Papalimo. I won't. Very good. Because I remember the price of freedom. I remember the smoke and the ashes and the blood. I remember the screams and the silence. And I'll do whatever it takes to honor their sacrifice, to build a home for us all. I promise you. This is the end. The end of the Imperial Province of Alamigo and the rebirth of Alamigo, the free nation. Long may she endure. Very nice. Oh, I'm sure that's... Oh, it's Estinian. Well, well, well. 
What a fine mess we've made. Oh, that's what? Where the fuck did he? Oh, oh. All but spent feeding that primal, eh? Well, you won't be making any mischief with that amount of ether. Where the fuck is Xenos? Still, better safe than sorry. The well, fuck didn't we do that? For, uh, we should have done that 20 hours ago, man. Where the fuck is Xenos? There. There ends your hateful legacy. Said the Emperor. It's over. No voice acting for this part. My condolences for your loss. A father should not outlive his son. What nonsense. You do not mourn his loss. You surprise me, your radiance. He was your son and heir, an irreplaceable test subject. And an, and an irreplaceable test subject. I know what he was. Monsters are not made for thrones. Nor are stars made to sustain false gods who sup on their very essence. Econ summoned by desperate savages who hearken the whispers of the shadowless car charlatans. Yeah, they haven't really been around for a while. Should you raise a hand against my black-robed brethren, I will not stop you. Our desires are one and the same. Preservation. Restoration. Compression. Resurrection. All in service to your one true God. And when the sundered shards are made whole, there will be a place for us mere mortals. Doubt my claims and question my motives, if you will, your radiance. You will come to trust me in time. Until then, mayhap you will find this reassuring. Dare you? What the fuck? We did it. We liberated Alamigo. I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to feel about it all. Relief, I suppose. Prize. And hope, too. We did it. Father, Ida, Papalimo, Conrad, Mefred, Menphilia. We really did it. Hey, don't feel like you have to stand there listening to me mumble. Everyone else will want to talk to you. You beat him, after all. You're the real hero of this story, so run along and tell your... Take your plaudits. For you to best Xenos, even after he had harnessed the power of a primal, is a testament to your ever-growing strength. Not bitter to have had your vengeance stolen from you by another. There is some small regret, perhaps, but that is outweighed by the satisfaction I find in his death. I commend you, Oldest. As should we all. Xenos was a monster and a tyrant. The man who killed my father and countless other, country, other of my countrymen. The world is a better place without him in it. 
I should also praise Master Alphanut for his foresight and restraint. Had he not intervened, I might have never had the pleasure of being reunited with my... with Haku, Huk, Hakaru and his Lupin brothers. Twas a timely intervention, I. Full glad am I to have not been burdened with the guilt of kneeling, killing my Lord Hien's most trusted allies. Ha! Indeed, my friends, indeed. After all we've been through, I really should know better than to worry, but, as ever, the relief I felt upon finding you, Hale and Hole, in the royal menagerie well nigh reduced me to tears. The warrior of light, victorious again. Hmm. I should be surprised if some small part of you had not come to resent the title and the responsibilities which accompany it. You must forgive us if we call you a hero when you accomplish heroic feats. But as the warrior of light goes, so goes the world. You should take pride in the good you have done, and the good you have inspired others to do. You are a natural-born leader of men, Aldous. All these people weren't just following their commanders. They're following you. And you led them to victory, to freedom. Alas, not everyone could see the journey through to the end. But history shall remember them, and the glorious future they made possible. Can you believe it? We won. We beat the bastards. Al amigo. Al amigo. <laughs> Sorry, got a bit carried away there, didn't I? It's hard not to, you know? We owe it to the friends we buried to shout and scream and cheer with all of our hearts. I want them to know it wasn't for nothing. That it's finally over. And that they can rest in peace. You hear that, lads? <sniffs> we'll be alright. We'll be... No oh, bugger, not again. I'm so... I'm so bleeding happy I could cry. The hero of the hour. I suppose we'll have to add Liberator to your titles. With the commander fallen, the remainder of the Twelfth chose to surrender to our forces. After twenty young years, it's official. The occupation has ended. But now the hard work starts. Though people have had their fill of kings, there is no clear consensus on what sort of government they would prefer instead. Indeed, Father. Momentous as this achievement may be, the road which lies before us is no less uncertain than the one we have walked. Aye, aye. Yet if we can overcome two decades of oppression, I have no doubt we can find a way forward. Thank you, Sergeant, for helping to make this dream a reality. You did well to defeat that fiend. Empowered by the eyes, I so foolishly ordered you to cast into the Sea of Clouds. What a twisted legacy they have wrought. Yeah, should have just stabbed him. It's not like I said, hey, don't throw those away. Finished your rounds. Great, in that case, I'd like you to come with me back to Raga's Reach. Not for a rematch or anything, sadly. I want to call all the science together. I'll explain later. Okay. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if it was always him or if he's puppeteering a corpse. But I'll wager that Asian was Xenos. Don't tell me if I'm right. It's the only thing that I can think of. Nope, my controller battery is low. It's the only thing that I can think of as to why... Yeah, it's the only thing that I can think of as to why Xenos' body was missing. It's the only thing I can think of as to why Xenos' body was missing. And why the Emperor was so upset. I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, but that's not to say they're not the same person. I 
I don't know. But that doesn't make sense. I don't know. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? That's the only thing that makes sense in my mind. Thank you enough. His body was gone when Asinian destroyed the eyes. And the Emperor got really upset about it. There's something I need to say to you all. That is, if you have a moment. The only thing that makes sense to me is Xenos is under that mask. Good. You're all here. Good. Good. I could be way off Thank base. You doesn't really suffice, does it? I'm grateful. Truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. But I know you didn't fight so hard just to hear me or anyone else say that. You fought because you wanted to help, because you believed it was right, because you're scions. Now, I'm obviously a scion, but as Conrad left me in charge of things here, I also have responsibilities to Alamigo. When I put it like that, though, I realized I couldn't even pretend to be impartial anymore. So it seemed best to make it official. As long as I serve Alamigo, I can't be a scion. It might be selfish and short-sighted, but that's my decision. Am I to understand that you summoned us all, some of us still nursing wounds, to hear this? <laughs> oh, I... I... I did... um... <laughs> Forgive me, Lise. T'was but a jest. But this I say with the utmost sincerity. Scion or no, we are comrades, now and ever after. Is that not so? There you have it. Come what may, you may count on us in your hour of need. We shall never refuse you. Yeah, never see you again. <laughs> Stola. Oh, gods. I swore I wouldn't cry. Come back here, you slippery little devil. Ah, to think fishing could be so difficult. He lived! I don't believe it. What greater proof of a man's lingering mortality than an empty belly? A fate worse than death. To have arrived at the appointed place and time only to survive by mere force of habit. Truly, the Kami are not finished with us yet. Oh, 
precious fortune. How you test me with this wretched soul. Hmm. I'm sure that must be a pleasant experience. Wow. No, oh, wait, hang on. Hmm, <laughs> indeed, this is the work of either Shinryu or Omega. And since then, there is undeniably something down there radiating a massive amount of energy. We cannot very well be the late Vic Viceroy's lap dragon. Yes, I think we have our suspect. Nice. Well, this is a mess of our own making, so it falls on us to clean it up. It won't be easy, but is it ever? And now comes the part where you say you've got no choice but to divert company resources and employees to this pet project of yours. Lost pot profits and belligerent clients be damned. I, uh, financial considerations notwithstanding, you have to admit there is such an unquantifiable benefit in giving our people the opportunity to study such advanced technology. Oh, is that before or after you blow it up or seal it away? Fine, fine. But the moment I judge this little venture an unsustainable risk to the ironworks, I'm ending it, Savvy. She was around before, wasn't she? And to keep you honest, using my authority as deputy president, I've gone ahead and brought in the cons a consultant, a master engineer and mechanical genius. Please tell me it's not Nero. You didn't. Oh, hello, Nero. Why are you dressed like Rock Howard? <laughs> Come now, you mustn't build their expectations too high. It'll be less dramatic when I surpass them. Don't look so surprised to see him sit. Oh no. Oh no, absolutely not. This is not happening. Why is he dressed like Rock Howard? <laughs> Nero Tolskeva, eager to begin his first day as a loyal member of the Ironworks team. Looking forward to working with you, Garland. <laughs> I look at him and all I see is Rock Howard in that outfit. That's amazing. So fell to so fell the hinter, the hunter, but what of the hound? I didn't get to read all of that. Oh, man. Can I buy Poetics yet? Ah, oh, slain the child, but what of the father? Thank you. Come to see how we're getting on. In, it's in here? Sweet. We've made good progress since we took back Alamigo. But there's one big issue we still have to address. I have to look at what's here for all my classes. The Domans had Lord Hien ready and willing to take the throne, but we've got no one like that here. Theodoric was our last ruler, and he wasn't called the Mad King for nothing. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Suffice it to say, our people have had their fill of kings, which means we need to find a new way forward. The difference is, is easy. Everyone and his uncle has an opinion. in a realm reborn and in uh, Heaven's Word, we got For the time being, we're just going to have poetics to keep on general stores before the, the post game. And see if we can't find a solution together. 
Something tells me we're going to be hosting a lot of meetings in the near future. Is that different now going forward, I wonder? But if that's what it takes, I'm ready to talk till my jaw aches. The reach is yours, Nago. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Aye, aye, Commander. Ah, there you are. I've been searching all over for you. Now, don't worry, it's nothing bad. That said, this might not be the best place to talk. Will you join me? I'm going to go look at Poetic's gear, and then end the stream, I think. I'll get to the point. Might you be interested in a spot of adventure? Only always. After all, we were adventurous before we were scions, were we not? After routing the Imperials and liberating our amigo, I reckon we've earned a bit of respite, don't you? What better way to spend it than by returning to our roots? So, what say you? Shall we call on Alphino and go adventuring? Twist my arm, why don't you? Later, Arnbald. I need to find the poetic selling people. Resistance tokens. Ah. Stone exchange. What have you got for me? We'll do ninja first. It usually does, yes. That's nice looking. Uh... They're all kind of the same. Probably. Oh no, the samurai. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow, I like that a lot. I always do. What the? Why does the gunblader get gunblade get this? What the fuck?
I like that too. Try the healer. Ah. Uh. Oh lord. Oh no. no. <laughs> the gown is nice, but that hat is fucking atrocious. <laughs> Not a big fan of that hat. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Okay. Two. Start with Gunbreaker. Oh, wow. All of that is nice. This one's going to be a different color. Oop. Oh man, I like that a lot. Okay. That for ninja, what? I don't know what the fuck's up with that head. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that looks a little goofy. <laughs> but the armor is cool. The armor is really cool. And then Samurai. Oh. The armor itself is cool. I'm not crazy about that face, though. It looks like I'm wearing a suit. What? I love it. Oh my god. That's so funky looking. Does someone sell weapons here too? Usually there's someone that sells weapons. They decide against that? So they're not selling the weapons yet. Just, you're not wrong, there's a lot of room there for stuff. Hey! Though I do want to look at some of these. Oh! Those are just big fists. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, and there's armor and stuff in here? Okay. Those are neat looking.
big old gun. Wait a minute. I'm not so sure about this one, guys. <laughs> this is really just the same thing. Not a fan of that there. Does it? Ah, yes it does. the same gear as before? Whoa, I like that gun blade. This lady? Oh, yeah. Oh, there they are. Wow, there's that. It's the other ones, okay. Okay. Yeah. I was looking at I was looking at them over there at the same place. Okay. Yeah. Those are small. That's small too. There are those fists. Scavian, too, huh? Oh, that's super cool! I like that. A Reaper Scythe! Aw, oh, hell yeah! Does that mean there's a... 
There's a sage weapon in here, too. Whoa. Love it. I mean, there's gear for them, too. Whoa, wait a minute. What is all of this? How the hell do you get Ultima Totems? Ultima Savage, huh? Too bright of a red. Nice though. <sighs> they are all cool. Well, I think I want this first and foremost. It doesn't match what I currently have on Samurai, but I don't care. I gotta find out which one's better. One of them usually is. It's probably the Scavian ones. Yeah. I like this gun blade a whole lot. I don't even look at this. Whoa. 
Bahamut stuff? So cool. Holy shit. I mean, those ones are kind of lame. That samurai sword is awesome. Shouldn't we use gun blade? Oh, all right. That. that. <laughs> That's super cool. Whoops. Shinry use revolver. <laughs> Susano's punchy fists. Ooh, I like the katana. Those are cool. Alright, well, that's enough for now. I'm happy to get my sage, new sage guns. Which looks super cool. Right, well. I'm going to stop for now. Thanks for coming out tonight. I will see you guys next time where we will be doing side quests and post game. Have a good night, guys. No problem. Yes, yes, blue quests, I know. That's next. Have a good night.